Hello, everybody. This is Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan, and I don't know who's up or if you're going to join me later on tonight or this morning because it's getting ready to be 12 o'clock. And if you're on Eastern Standard Time, it is already the next day. So I'm just on well, here for a minute, but um, I wanted to pop on here because you guys always know I have a teachable moment. So um, tonight I was invited to a birthday party of the young lady who hosted. Uh, the dating uh, panel. Uh, well, it was more, it was more than just dating, but we talked uh, about dating. But she had a panel of talking about different things, and so it was the one I attended last month. I think it's been a month, and um, she invited me to her birthday party tonight at a karaoke bar, and it was really really nice because I've never been in one, and I know that sounds real country, uh, but I have not. <laughs> But I love karaoke, even though I didn't do any tonight. I love it. Uh, and I didn't stay long because Kenny was here. And But she does have a village, but I still didn't want to leave her here, like, super duper late uh, by herself. And I was, like, way in the city. Uh, so, anyway, uh, went and stayed for an hour or so. Hey, uh, LaRonda, how you doing? Uh, went and stayed in, in, uh, at the party for a minute, and I almost didn't go. So I have to kind of revert back to a conversation that I had with one of my homegirls who is super extroverted, and she talks to everybody. I, on the other hand, do not. <laughs> so a lot of people, and I was actually having this conversation with somebody the other day, uh, I was telling her that I am shy, and she said, I just don't see that from you. Like, <laughs> I, I, I think you're like this extroverted person, and I do have an extroverted uh, personality. Uh, but it's like I got to warm up to it. Like sometimes I can just feel it, but most time I'm just like, yeah, let me warm up to it. Let me just kind of sit back in the cut. Uh, but I was telling my homegirl, like, I don't like, I go places by myself all the time because I like being by myself, but I like when it comes to like socializing and I know I have to go and be like, you know, make small talk. I'm not really good at that. And I don't like small talk. Uh, I like having full on uh, conversations, but that's how conversations get started. You start, you got to start somewhere with it. Um, but my friend was like, you know, you're in a bigger city now. And so you're going to have to start putting yourself out there. And so I was really trying to find like a whole bunch of ways to talk myself out of not going tonight, uh, just because of the thought of me you know, being around a whole bunch of people that I don't know. I mean, I kind of know of her uh, and hopefully we'll be able to grow um, a relationship of some sort if it's not like friendship, but like in a business sector uh, because we kind of do the same things um, along the lines of business. Uh, and um, I was just like, I got to put myself out there. And I really love her spirit. She has a super duper sweet spirit. Uh, and that's why I went anyway, because she's just, she's very nice. Like from what I can tell of her and my observation of her, she has a super sweet spirit, just super nice. And so I went and I was nervous, uh, because, you know, driving around the city at night too, that's a whole nother situation for me. Uh, and people here drive. So anyway, I ended up going and I really had a good time. Um, the young lady that I was sitting next to, she was like very talkative. So she made it easier. The guy to my right who was there, like everybody there was cool. And so um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And so the more that I continue to put myself in these uh, situations, um, and networking, and this wasn't necessarily networking, but just being at a party, um, and talking to people that I don't know, um, it is uncomfortable, but I'm getting better at it now. Uh, and I was just invited to something else, um, a business shower of somebody that I actually met at her event. So that'll be in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to go to that too. But my homegirl was like, you've got to start going these places by yourself because if you go with somebody that you know you're going to spend your time talking to the people that you know and not trying to engage and get information from the other people that you don't know and she's absolutely right so i said all of that to say we're going to start doing things that make us uncomfortable especially if you are in business we are going to start that next week um so i'm going to be asking what is your one thing that you did 
uh, every day or at least for the week, what is that one thing that you have done or are planning to do to make yourself uncomfortable so you can grow in your business? Uh, and even if you're not in business, I, I guess because we want to include everybody, what is that one thing that you need to do to help you um, be better as a person, be better uh, be a better mate, better person, be a better mother, be a better father. Like, what is that one thing that makes you uncomfortable? So, um, anyway, I had a really, really good night. It has been a very, very long day for me. Uh, again, I'm in the taking care of business mode uh, right now, and I still didn't, I got a lot of things checked off my checklist, so that's a good thing. Um, excuse me, but um, I'm not finished. So it's going to carry on into this next week. Uh, for those who did not see that, I'm going to be dropping the, um, I keep wanting to call it Mother's Day, but it's not Mother's Day, <laughs> my May event, uh, Memorial Day weekend for Selfish. So I'm, listen to me, I'm super excited about that event, super duper duper excited about it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go wash my face and yeah, this hair is kind of falling, so uh, still cute, but not as cute as I was. Oh, side note, y'all, y'all remember I had said something about uh, me smelling like fish because Kenny had fried some fish before I left. Uh, and that's all I felt like I kept smelling. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, when I got dressed or whatever, I put on some Good Girl, which Good Girl is my favorite perfume right now. It's my favorite besides my Versace uh, blue, 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 Bright uh, Crystal and Ralph Lauren Romance, which is a throw throwback. I love um, masculine scents. And Joe Malone, Pears, and Freesia. Yes. Uh, but anyway, I put on my um, uh, Good Girl. So that's kind of heavy. It's like a real masculine. To me, it's very masculine. Uh, and so I'm thinking maybe that'll drown out some of this fish smell. But anyway, I happened to be out. And this girl was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Oh, my lips, it looks crazy. Anyway, um, she was like, um, you smell so good. And I was like, what? So, of course, I had to go on and tell her about what my daughter did. But, you know, I have this accent here. I don't know why. I, I thought Texas, we all had the same. No, I have a different country or southern accent. So, I'm still having to slow my words down. So, I was telling her the story about my daughter frying fish. And they had to keep saying, what? What? <laughs> but anyway, they got it. So apparently I don't smell like fish to them, but I can smell it on me and they just smell my perfume. But anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I am Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan and Reagan Says. I think it. I see it. I do it. Good night, guys.